Greetings to Madam Nolfaisa Binti Hamiduddin. I'm Vishwan, son of Manikam. We're about to present our assignment in Conduction Graphical Analysis on Heat Transfer. Let's start with the introduction. Fins are provided to a heat exchanger surface to augment the heat transfer by increasing the surface area exposed to the surroundings. Fins are thus used whenever the available surface area is found insufficient to transfer required quantity of heat with available temperature gradient and heat transfer coefficient. In the case of fins, the direction of the heat transfer by convention is perpendicular to the direction of conduction heat flow. Common application of the fin surface are with cooling of electronic components, condenser and economizers of thermal power plants, radiators for automobiles, dry type cooling towers, air cooled cylindrical of compressors, ice engines, evaporators and condensers of refrigerator, refrigeration and air condition system and electric motor and transformers. Thank you. Hi, my name is Raisha bin Anapi. I will explain about the design selection. As we can see on the slide, this is two design that was selected in our group to apply the conduction graphical analysis on heat transfer. This design was made by Cooper. Both design have a same base dimension but different on the head. We also created the hole for design 2 and added more fin for design 1 compared to design 2. Morphine can cause heat flowing being dissipated into the surrounding when heat flow to others. When heat flow to the fins, heat will lose due to conversion. We can conclude that the heat transfer will decrease if morphine we added. Thank you. We, uh, next. If I will explain about the analysis. Assalamualaikum. My name is Irfan Hisham bin Suami. B zero nine one nine one zero zero two nine. Let's present about the both design between design one and design two. So basically, this is the look for design one, and this is the look for design two. Okay. Next, we would like I would like to present about the characteristic. So the base size is. Basically, 40 mm times 40 mm, and the average is flux on cold side is 1500 watt per meter square, and the average temperature on cold side is 78.65 degrees Celsius, and the average temperature on hot side is 95.23 degrees Celsius, and then next is the coefficient, co coefficient which is 5.03 watt per meter square Kelvin and then the ambient temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and the heat power is 65 watt so basically the heat power and ambient temperature coefficient, coefficient also same is between the both side between the both design the same number okay and then that's I would like to present about the temperature range so the first design which is 80.71 to 793.15 degrees Celsius and then that is for the second design is 80.74 to 93.16 degrees Celsius and then the fin number for the design one is 81 number and then the second design is 10 number and then the fin type for the first design is tube tube type and then the second design is plate type Basically, the base design is round shape on corner and then the next design for the second design is round shape on the both side and then the initial temperature is 76.57 degrees Celsius and then the second design is 76.6 degrees Celsius so, so close the difference between the both design Okay, uh, my name is Muhammad Abdullah Tuhan Tubahar uh, Now I will present about uh, discussion Okay, uh, the first discussion is the temperature range for design 1 is lower compared to design 2. And second is the fin number for design 1 is 81, higher compared to design 2 which is just 10. The fin is increased the effective area of surface uh, thereby increasing the heat transfer by convection. Uh, the fin type for design 1 is fin tube element component uh, of heat exchanger. 
they are a series of tube where film has been added on the outside to increase the contact area with the outside fluid to extend the heat between the fluid inside the tube and the fluid outside the tube. Whereas, uh, the film type for design to is plate. A plate extender uh, consists of a series of parallel plates that are placed one above or and the other side to, to allow the deformation of a series channel for fluid to flow between them. The space between two adjacent plates form the channel in which the fluid flows. And lastly, the final temperature for design one is lower compared to design two. Uh, as of today, based on my two analysis, design one is the best to be installed in a laptop. For, uh, from our analysis, we also that paint in design one is better because paint tubes are the main component of heat avenger. They are a series of tubes where spring has been added uh, on the outside to increase the contact area with the outside fluid to extend it and between the fluid inside the tube and fluid outside the tube. Lastly, we conclude the main factor the, to improve the to improve is the pin type, shape and size. This factor will improve the system to pull down components in the laptop. <laughs>